my friends, Bayani here in this video I'm gonna show you how to make a bird nest like an owl nest it's gonna be a little bit thick I'm gonna use this board about 11 inch thick and then the rest I'm just gonna use like exterior grade plywood for the roof like for the slope of the roof I just have my saw in here you guys can see I'm gonna go like uh, 22 and a half because I I like to put like go like 22 and a half 45 all that stuff uh, 22 and a half I just tighten up my old saw in position I'm gonna set this board in there the laser I'm gonna indicate where it is 24 one eight, 24 one there. So I'm gonna cut this straight on the end. So I'm just gonna make one. Then once I have it here, I'm just gonna put this board together. Like you guys see there, that way I can get a, like a straight cut. Right? Just gonna bring my saw back to a straight cut right now. I have a straight cut in there. And for me to do this, nice and straight in there. Cut straight like in this case, I don't want it to move to be the same size. I'm just gonna use one of this clump. Okay, very things straight in there, right? And that will give me a square line. You can see here is a little bit out of the square. Cut both of them at the same time, that way I have all same size. This one here gonna be the sides, alright? I want it to overlap like a couple inches from the top and the bottom that way you can screw. Let me see if this can work. I can do like that if I want, so let's say split the difference. This part here that gonna overlap is to screw like on a post, on a, a tree, alright? So I just can mark very much in there. Two and a quarter. And here I have about the same. I can make a little mark in there. This is the back of the box, right? I'm not gonna go too crazy about it. Let me just use this one here. This table so a little bit easier. Very much, I'm just gonna use the nail gun just to put few nails and then I'm gonna, once I have it is complete and then I'm just gonna screw it up. Once I have it there, right to where I want it. Like you guys can see, no need to mark. This is the thing for the nail gun because it makes life a way easier. And I put a few nails in there just to hold it on place. Here we have the box. Then I'm just gonna find another piece of uh, plywood, something like that. I'm just gonna mark it in here and then I'm gonna cut it. That is my mark. And then if I have any doubt that this, uh, this is not good, I just use the square and check with the saw. So the square, we just put it there. And I just want to cut in here, something like that. I'm gonna put in my saw. Like you guys can see here, this saw already gave me the square. I didn't need to mark it, but if you guys don't just have a regular saw, a skill saw, you just mark it the square, right? So I didn't go far enough, I'm just gonna flip it over a bit. I have the bottom of the cage done. Like you guys can see, this part here will be the board come come flying. Have a place with it where it can sit, right? And this part here is where we put the screws to a tree, something like that. Next piece, I'm just gonna do much the same way. I just try to be a little bit cheap. I just gonna try to split this for the roof and the sides. If it has a little bit of hole and stuff, uh, doesn't make much difference. You see, I have this side here, this tray. Let me see how big I have left over for the roof. I want the roof to be a little bit wider. Put there straight. Then I come on this side in here, this other side, make a little mark, and then I just take it to the saw. And then I, I just have it square in there. Okay, so this here would be front of the box. And this would be the roof. The roof I just wants to be a little bit longer. Alright. Okay, let's let's work the front of the box. Let me see the measurement because I not even know the measurement for this one. 11 3 quarters, so I'm just gonna split it in on a half, right? It'll be 5 7 eighths, right? Since I just uh, some board, big board, the babe can escape 
before they are ready to fly and then they fell down they would die so I gonna make the hole kind of high that way the baby bird is not able to get out until they are ready to fly I just gonna make it about there something like that let's see I just gonna use this guy here and see what it is about four inches I'm just gonna make two inches somewhere in there then two I think the hole is a little bit high to the high side, but I think we need it now, so I don't know which bird would gonna come this. This is the big hole that I'm gonna make in there. And to make the hole, what I'm gonna use, let me see. I'm just gonna use a drill to make a small hole in there. Then nothing special. I'm just gonna use the this jigsaw in here. Well, guys, let's hope the bird did not complain because the hole is not 100% round, right? Spray out in there. Nice and simple. So I'm just gonna check this loop in here. How big it is? What I need to cut? I just want it to overlap a little bit to protect against the rain. So I'm just gonna remove this part in here. Well, we have this part right here. What I'm gonna do in here, like you guys can see, it's in here. I'm gonna bring this saw like for 22 and a half, right? So guys, here we have it. I make my cut 22 and a half degree, the same as this cut, that way it fit good in there. Since I don't know if specific the measurement of this plywood, I'm just gonna split it. Like I said, if the bird don't complain, I'm not gonna complain. And I put it tight in there. I have it all in place. I'm just gonna use some screws. I'm gonna put the screws, that way it holds better. Don't dry all screws. They still last very long time, right? I'm gonna try first, see how it holds. If it start cracking, I just use a different screws. Oh, perfect. The screws that we have on the pouch and then they got mixed up. We just put them aside and I use them whenever I'm doing something that is not in rush. Oh, what I'm doing, I put mm, two screws from each side and should be very good. Here on the back, I'm gonna put like a little bit more screws because it's gonna be screwed to the tree, right? I guess if you have a treated plywood, it even last even longer. Then I have it screwed up and I, then I just gonna find a smaller drill bit and I'm gonna make some holes here on the bottom just for there some moisture to come in. Just gonna get out. Should be enough just to circulate some air. At the same time, if some moisture accumulates there, just gonna get out. And I can do like this, guys, for the bird to step in. Oh, I can do something just like this. I think I just gonna put that way. I do one thing. I just record. I put a little nail. Hold it in place. I don't want the bird to be complaining about the way it's not level. Okay, so this should be good enough. And if he wants to make something for a different design, put something more in there. Oh, design. Wood is there, otherwise I'm just gonna dump it anyway. Very much, I'm just gonna put some screws in there. Yeah guys, just cutting a piece of roof in here. I just didn't find the knife at the moment. A little bit over on the side. And I'm just gonna use the staple gun. Just gonna flip over on the back a little bit. You guys, look this. Let's hope we have an owl just on our backyard. Just make noise the other time. Let's hope that uh, she's gonna come and make a nest in there. Big enough for an owl. I can put my hand down. And if you guys want to do something different, you can be like a bit more fancy, right? You can put a ring and then you can open, check what is inside. But this I'm gonna put real high on the tree and I'm not gonna be going there to check what is in. Just gonna be safe from the ground and see what is going there. And here you can see, we go with some good wood screws, put few screws 
Screw this to the tree, screw the top, hoping to see some bird in there. All right, guys, I love you guys. If you're not subscribed yet, subscribe. And if you have questions, don't be shy, ask me the question. And I love you guys, and see you soon.